Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I will show you how to program a basic elevator control system in the Protege um, uh, system, WX system from ICT. Okay, so um, there's several steps involved in this configuration. Also, there's other levels of um, in, you know, uh, elevator control integrations. But today, let's start with the most basic scenario when we're basically using a card reader to activate relay outputs that will then make floor buttons available. Okay, so in this video, um, you know, I'm going to show you how to create a basic setup. And then uh, if you're interested in, you know, seeing the more advanced functionalities that WX from ICT has in terms of elevator control, please send a comment down below and we'll gladly do that uh, video with more details. Okay. So the end result we want to achieve today is basically when badging a card, um, I want to basically be granted to the elevator and activate four floors. Okay, so this is what you can see now from the monitoring page. You see the events when the floor relays activate and then you see another set of events when the floor relay deactivates. Um, by the way, this is good for testing, you know, to see the output triggering and deactivating. Uh, but when we're done testing and everything works as expected, then you want to disable the output event. I'll show you how this is done. So, you know, it will reduce the, 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 the database, the event database usage for WX because you remember from other videos, we're limited to 50,000 events with this platform. All right. So let's have a look at what is required to program and test elevator control with the ICT WX system. Okay. So first thing I want to make sure of is that my access level and you know uh, will allow me access to those floors. So if I'm testing with the master access level, uh, you'll see there's a floors tab and the floor groups tab. Under floor groups, I have selected the include all floors option. Okay, same thing applies to the elevator group include all elevators. So that means if new elevator cars are headed down the road, this access level already will have access to all the floors, all the cabs. Okay. Obviously on a job site, you know, you may have multiple elevator cars, but maybe one of them is just a freight elevator. So people don't have access. Maybe it's used just when you're moving into the building, you know? Um, so basically uh, you create groups so that the users will only have access to the elevator cars that they should use on a daily basis, okay? So again, first thing, make sure you have the floors or order include all elevators and, and then the access level is ready to be tested, okay? Next step is to create the floors, which is very simple, okay? Um, but there's really one thing that you need to remember. So under the floors page, by the way, it's under programming and floors. Under the floors page, you always start with the lowest floor, okay? So for instance, if you have one underground parking garage, that's going to be your first floor in the system. And then you go up one floor. So the first floor will always have floor relay set to one and then two, three, four, and so on. Okay. So the WX system is limited to 32 floors. Okay. So I only have four for, for now. Okay. So again, you cannot have the same floor relay twice. So you make sure that in one elevator car, there is no duplicates. Okay. So now my floors are created. The next step is to create the elevator car. Okay. So programming elevator, elevator, sorry. And then, um, what's important is to link the elevator itself to the port that you're using on the reader expander. So in this case, I'm using the first port of the WX panel. So I'm using the onboard reader. The port is one. And that is also very important. The unlock access time in seconds. So the default is five seconds. Okay. There's also an intercom unlock time. That's when you use the intercom function. It's a programmable function. Okay. Um, and the floor select time is basically when you use the next uh, level of elevator control. It's when you use destination reporting, but we'll cover this in, in a different video. Okay. So make sure you have set the, the number of seconds for how long the floors will be unlocked after badging a card. Okay. The next step is to go to schedules and areas, okay, and add the floors, you know, that you need in this list because the list is empty by default. So you have the floors, make sure that on the far right that there's an output linked to that floor, okay. So I labeled my, my output the same name as the floor to make it easier to link after the fact. So parking, floor two, three, and four, okay. Now, if you use um, schedules to unlock floors, you will need to assign the schedule here, right? Uh, no, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. backtrack under the schedule tab, not area. So 
Here we use, let's say, let's say work hours as a schedule, okay? Also, when you set a schedule, you will need to select the verify option. So this will force the system to apply the schedule within the next minute, all right? So it's approximately maximum of one minute before the schedule is applied to the floor. Now, the next day, it's gonna be applied at, this, at the beginning of the schedule, so at the start time of the schedule, okay? So uh, basically, just to recap, um, if you have a schedule, you need to assign it here, and then you need to uh, hit the verify option if you want the schedule to be applied right away, and you assign the outputs to the floor, okay? So that's easy. So again, link the onboard reader expander, the reader port, and then the last step before we can start testing, um, you know, it's the in the reader expander properties, uh, no, cancel, I'm just going to hit save. In the reader expander properties here, under reader one, make sure that the reader one mode is set to elevator and not access, because otherwise it will just be a door that is unlocking and not a floor. And then you link the elevator to uh, that section here, okay? Then you save, restart the module, and the, the only thing you need to make sure of is that the user that you're gonna be testing with has an access level allowing access to the cab or the car and at least with one floor in its floor group or in the list of floors, okay? So if I go to the monitoring tab here again, okay? Batch my card and I have my four floors being unlocked, <coughs> right? And then I have my four floors being relocked, okay? So you see, it's not that difficult. Again, that was the most basic form of elevator control with ICT Project WX. In a future video, we'll show you, if you're interested, we'll show you how to do the destination reporting as well, okay? So thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Remember to call us if you need any help with ICT products. We're a distributor of ICT products in Canada, and we have a whole sales team and support team to help you, all right? Thank you, see you soon.